So tamale, it functions as a pancreas, it functions as a liver, it cleans up the system. So, you know, it could be a delicacy for a lot of people. For me, I don't really eat it. So it's actually a good ingredient for me to work with something that I normally don't use. Yeah, like I said, these just came the main. Keep them moist. And very fresh. You open up the lobster and you have and you eat the tail and the claw and either you can just spread it on toast. It's kind of like the pate. Uh, you know, you could, if you will, with some. Sometimes it will have roe um, in there, so it'd be like green goo and orange and red. It's just it's kind of funky. It's like make myself big. People are gonna fucking hate me. Hey, yeah, you're probably right. God damn it. Hate mail. You can send hate mail here. <laughs> Alright. All this. That's your liver, pancreas, delicious tamale. Does it have any lobster flavor? Um, as far as lobster, like, what does lobster taste like? I don't know, lobster tastes like chicken to me. So, as far as that goes, no, it doesn't taste like lobster. Um, it tastes more like sea urchin, more or less, with that creamy, kind of sweet sea. Kind of like any other kidney or liver, uh, it just gets like this funky, even though it's already as funky, it's gonna get worse if you cook it too hot. So, we're just gonna bring it just under a simmer and then we'll let it steep for a couple minutes. So. So you see it's steaming on, this is hot enough. So we're just gonna let it steep for a minute. This color's gross. <laughs> All right. I don't think I'd ever serve this. Um, so I made polenta and I added a uh, little kuzu into it. Um, when I was cooking, and what the kuzu will do, it's a, it's a Japanese starch. It's a way it'll do, and I chill it, um, and when I reheat it, it won't fall apart. So I should stay intact, stay together. So we're just gonna pass any of the big bits, if there's any. I really don't want big bits in my mouth. Oh God, it's gross. I hate Mel so much right now. So we just want the egg yolk. Um, so this is at uh, 53 Celsius. Uh, it'll create a beautiful outside shell. Keep the center liquid. And it pretty much pasteurizes the, the yolk itself. So it's really cool. A lot of people think it's raw, but it's not. So is it still liquid it's, it's more of a custard. So I call it foam, it's more of a uh, I can call it custard, but if you, if you will, it's more of a spuma. You know, Spanish word, it's, it's really a fancy pudding. So this is uh, my plan, shrimp and grits. Good olive oil, black pepper. Looks like it's buttered, but it's not. It's actually, I take freeze-dried popcorn, make a powder, and I dust it. Just let that go. Break it up, and make a little sauce. Get a little bite here. Can you taste the tamale? I can. It's a funk. It's a good funk, like this kind of dish. It got this briny, I'm just gonna call it funk, like it kind of dirty socks. But it's not like, not in a bad way. I don't know what's a good way. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but it's, it's good. So what we have is here, carob, carob powder, water, xanthan, xanthan gum, and uh, egg white powder. That helps stabilize the bubbles. I had to do this ahead of time, but we have uh, a tamale frozen air with white chocolate actually and pink peppercorn. 
So the flavored tamale is gonna be here, and then we're actually gonna do a roll course. So we'll do a little trout roll, and then the carob bubbles with the pineapple. I didn't make the combinations really. I just like them. It's good. I bet there's so many people like, what the fuck is this guy doing? The tamale comes through again with the the C and the funk. Um, I keep saying funk, but it's not like a bad thing. No, that's why people eat it. I called him up and I said, hey, you know, I picked you. He's like, oh, he's very excited. So give me something hard. And I'm like, all right, you got pig uterus. There you go. <laughs>